Hey coach, so happy you found us. Make sure you subscribe and like. Those are really important. Also, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you want to win more games, have more fun and less time, let Teach Hoops do it. I have 30 years of coaching. I've been where you've been. I can help you in this process. Let me help you put banners and and, and uh, state titles in your gym. Let me help you do that. Go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let's head off to the video. So as I look at the uh, as I look at the board, uh, you can come down in a variety of different sets. You can come down as a, as like a um, a four out one in. And so just for example, we just look on the board and you kind of see that. Now two spots I have over here, uh, one on each side of the lane, uh, is called no man zone. And that no man zone is a place where um, uh, where we like to get people away uh, from the basket, so they're too far away from actually getting good help. And then secondly, uh, we've got a situation where uh, um, they really can't help on the perimeter either. So we're interested in those, uh, in those uh, parameters. So the, the concepts of the uh, CAT offense are this. First of all, create simultaneous equidistant spacing. Now that's a mouthful, all right? First of all, create. So we're in a position where we're going to create simultaneous. That means everybody's doing it at exactly the same time. Equidistant, meaning that we're exactly at the same distance. So as this person makes this pass and cuts here, he's going to go forward for a little bit. He's going to follow his pass. And as he takes a step, this guy takes a step. This guy takes a step. All right, the post is going to stay where he belongs. The ball handler or the ball receiver is going to stay where he's got. So this guy takes three steps. One, two, three. This guy takes three steps. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you notice the balance on the floor is equidistant. Optimal ball reversal by making quick, accurate passes. We're interested in getting the uh, ball around the floor uh, very quickly, and uh, we want to do that. We want to, number three, we want to eliminate weak side help, and we do so by dragging the defender. Generally, when you're playing passing game off and, uh, offenses against a defense, the ball will be passed and the defender's hanging out here as the offensive guy goes somewhere else to screen away, that clogs things up. This takes away that weak side help. Uh, fourthly, we want to do something that the defense is not used to seeing. All right? And what's critical about that is, you know, they're used to seeing the pass and screen away. They're used to seeing the screen the ball. Uh, but they're not generally used to seeing this. And this is really optimally wants to stretch the defenses. Those teams that are really intense, that really want to deny the guard to forward entry pass. In other words, some guy who's right up the line, on the line right here. Um, what this offense will do is stretch them out to open up some holes. Hey coach, hope you're liking the video. Hit like down below if you are. That will help us a ton with being found on YouTube. Second thing is make sure you subscribe and then hit the little bell and you'll get notified every time we put a new video up every day. Um, have a great day.